All of the caucus chaos this afternoon. There's a bit of, uh, well, less than appetizing legislation to deal with in House State Affairs Committee. And in case you didn't know this, Idaho is the only state that specifically outlaws cannibalism. It's still the case. Nothing's changed there. But there was some concern after those who keep tabs on what's happening at the State House saw cannibalism, just that word, cannibalism on the agenda or the menu, as it were, for today. Why? Well, that's the main question we had before the committee hearing this morning. Afterwards, well, that left us wondering, what are we doing? The committee will now make consideration RS-31078, Representative Scott. In one of the most anticipated moments of the morning. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Republican Representative Heather Scott stepped to the podium in the House State Affairs Committee. RS-31078, cannibalism. And I know this seems like a, it's a heavy topic, actually. It might seem kind of gruesome, and it kind of is. Cannibalism is already a crime in Idaho under a chapter titled Mayhem. Any person who willfully ingests the flesh or blood of a human being is guilty of cannibalism. It was passed in 1990 after a rash of unfounded satanic panic investigations in Idaho during the 80s. Representative Scott wants to add a line to that law. Anyone who willfully provides said flesh and blood to another person to ingest without that person's knowledge or consent is also guilty of cannibalism. Okay, so why is this a worry for an Idaho lawmaker? Well, Representative Scott brought up two reasons. So a few years ago, back in 2019, I heard that Washington State was starting to, to do human composting. And that disturbed me. So I wanted to address this because what I didn't want to see is bags of compost with human bone fragments. Yes, human composting is a thing in several states, including Washington. But the remains aren't being bagged. They're being spread in a forest outside Battleground, Washington, to help it recover from logging. And the other reason you know, Representative you know, Scott got during a flight last cameras. summer. And I watched a video uh, of um, some food show. All right, Chef, can you tell us the three secret ingredients that might be found in this amazing sausage that you made for us today? The three secret ingredients that might be found in this sausage are fish liver, human flesh, or shark. I, is this, it, are those really the three ingredients? Yeah. And one of the options they told these people that was in the food was human flesh. Or human flesh. God help you, it better be shark. Not okay. That's no, not hey, all right. You know, it's a wonderful renewable protein. Well, well, hey, you, all right, no, are you sure? Disgusting. No, um, that's you know, I didn't, I didn't know it was gonna no, go like this no, either. No, that's this really disgusting. Chef, Chef, are you serious? Yeah, of course. I thought, this is going to be normalized at some point. The way our society's going and the direction we're going, um, this is going to be normalized. So, so actually, Representative Scott based her bill on a video posted to TikTok a month ago. Yes, I'm afraid you're both wrong. It is human flesh. No. About something that wasn't actually real. We're, we're going to stop shooting this right now. We're going to do another show called Fameless. It's David Spade's new prank show. <laughs> Thank God. Oh my God. I guess this is what happens when you do your own research. Oh my God. There's a lot of documentation out there. If you just um, Google it, there's a ton of people showing it and how they're doing it. Must have been a short flight since Representative Scott didn't seem to watch the end of that video. I know what you're thinking. You know, Soylent Green is people! Well, Representative Scott said she was wanting to stop human composting from getting into the food supply, which is why she brought this bill forward. So just to reiterate, when it does come to human composting, what's left after 8 to 12 weeks is one cubic yard of compost, which is mostly plant material and very little human DNA left in it. Families can take that cubic yard home, or they can donate it, which is then spread around to several spots across Washington, which is what I found out today. But it's not. It is not used for food production. By the way, I did try to ask Representative Scott about this bill at the risk of being blasted on social media. Her response, she'd rather not. House Bill 522 was printed, and we will wait to see when it will get a public hearing.